Hi everyone, this is Olga, and um, I have a project that I want to share with you guys. This is a tag um, that I made. Um, what I did was I cut out the shape of um, a tag out of a cereal box, and um, I distressed the edges with the Tim Hall Distress, and then I used some modeling paste around the edges. And then um, right here I used some seam binding, but I glimmer missed the, um, the seam binding using... Um, this from um from Lindy Stamp and I don't know I hope you can it's kind of like a nice greenish I love this but uh, this is the one I use and let me see if I can see the name of it it says green with Ingo Green it says but yeah this is the one I use from Lindy Stamp spray and I love it I love the way it came out. Um, I thought it was going to come out darker, but it did it. So, yeah, that's the Lindy Stamp Spray I use. And then right here, I use these stickers that I got Passion um, passion for Crafting. Sent me um, some stickers. Thank you so much, hon. And so I put the stickers um, right here, the word love. And then I did two templates. I did the template of... Um, a heart one, and then I you and then I did a um a wing one, and I tried to match them up so it could be like perfect sizes, cause I wanted it to um to look like the like the heart was flying away, you know, like for Valentine's. But what I did was this is um you know that um it's like a it's I want to say it's like a canvas um type of fabric, but um they use it to like um like so or something it has like these little holes so what I did was I actually used some um mosh posh first on it just to make it a little bit more stiffer and then afterwards I distressed it with a Tim Holt distress and then I stamped it with this um floral um like this little trees from um Tim Holt and then after I did that I used some of my sprays to just give it like a different um different colors so I used like some some of this one from the color shots from Lindy Stamp um, spray. It's like a hot pink. Um, and I love the way this looks when you actually put it on. So I used some of this one. And then I used just very little bit of this one. Again, from Lindy Stamp spray. You can see right here. And um, this was very, very nice too. So yeah, so I did that to the... Um, to the wings, I also did it to the um to the heart. And what I did with the heart was I I took a ca uh, cardboard and I like peeled it off. And then after I did the shape of the heart, I stamped it with the Tim Holt um stamp. And then I used the Lindy stamp um shots to so just like paint it in. And I used some gesso as you see. And then um this is um a mold that I have. I got a um. I made a mold of the crown, and then I just, um, I put some gesso, some um, gray rubbing buff, and then I use these tiny little roses right here that I got um, from Wild Orchid Craft, and I love how cute, they're so tiny, so I use them right there on the crown, I got some, um, two different color feathers, like a, like a yellowish and a beige one, and then again, another butterfly. And then, um, you know, the flowers that comes with the stem. I cut out the stem and made it look like the, the, um, the thing from the um, butterflies. I used two other pearls. And then this is one of my flowers, my handmade flowers that I made. So I glimmer missed this one again with the Lindy Stamp um, spray, which it was this color I showed you guys. But yeah. And then after I um, I did that, I used some of these leaves from the um other flowers that I had I just took them apart and I used the leaves right there and then over here I used some um, pearl trims and I just twisted some cheesecloth right there and then again I used some more of those little flowers from Wild Orchid Craft little rosebuds right there and there and then this beautiful flower right here I got from Lisi46 she sent me um, a rack because I want her giveaway so she sent me these beautiful flowers and it matched perfectly with the um with the with the colors, you know, because it's the same color as the Lindy Stamp spray. So that worked beautiful. Thank you, hon. 
and then I use this um, braid trim right there and then I use some um, lace that I got from um, AC Moore so yeah very simple I love the way it came out and then again the paper that I used was this paper that my son um, got for me at Walmart and I showed it in a previous video and yeah this beautiful paper I love 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 the paper so that's the paper that I use so um, yeah so I hope you guys like it um, feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you guys think thanks everyone bye